Say hi, Sean. Wow, he sounds as pleased as I do. desk in there. Can you bring it out to us, please? Thank you. This one's got some. It's been out in the sun for a little bit. It's already warmed up. It's starting to melt. Now these bees in here. See here. This is what you don't want. Ew. Now this has been frozen for like a month now. I take that little bugger right there. And Ew. Squish it. That was a frozen dead. Moth larvae. Well, yeah, the ants will eat it. So I smash it again. <laughs> I'm just adding that so that they have something to build on a little quicker. Can you hand me that next one? The plastic foundation in it. Here you go. I'm not too keen with these, but I'd rather have a rack of drawn out foundation from the bees or all natural wax. Go ahead and hand me the next two. Okay, thank you, Sean. Two in here. I'm gonna slide all these ladies to one side. 
Move them over here. And yeah, the sugar water bottle. Yep, there's one already on here. Yeah. Oh, it's a horse fly. I thought it was a bee. What you doing, dude? Hey, hey. Getting a drink, I guess. I'm going to take this and sugar water. It's not good. It's a cup of sugar to three quarters of a cup of water. Yeah, it is. Is what I use. And all I use that for is to put it in here like so. It keeps the bees a little calmer because you're adding something different to their hive. It'll draw them to the cone. They'll pay more attention to it. And if they are getting rowdy, they'll leave you alone because they're going in here. Right now, they're just as gentle as they can be. But not unless you take all the boxes off. They're mad. Watch out, baby. Watch out. Uh, look at that little piece of wax. Sean, don't stand there's ants. Why don't you go inside with Grandma and go drink some water because it's hot out here, baby. Here we go again. Here's another one that's already been drawn out. This is one of the highs. This hive here just like, upscounded and just left. out pretty good nice even spacing and those girls are happy this box is gonna be even heavier than the other one I haven't had this box off in Four months. You're gonna knock that down. Well, it hasn't been off in a while. It's got a lot of propolis in it. Now this one here had to uh, have these bottom pieces on because it's what they called a. The gentleman told me it was a flush mount box. Got a lot. There you go. Whew, set those ladies over there out of my way. Put these ones here. Now remember, all I'm trying to do. Making sure I don't have swarm cells being built. I'm seeing a little bit of drone 
the cells being produced. And a lot of drone bait bees being laid. set down. Now the queen may be right here. Nope, they're just on it to feed and drink and do their thing. They're putting honey away. Let me set this one back down. Settle down, settle down, settle down. Settle down, settle down. Side. They're starting to get a little. Well, don't do that. Not on the hive. I was trying to spray it on the corner right there. Hey girls, you need to get back in there and shake you off. Usually when I get stung, it's because I squished one or, you know, wasn't paying attention, smashed it. See, this is weird though. See, this one's not drawn out either. They're tickling my leg. <laughs> you don't come up here. They feel funny when they walk on you. See, get pieces like that, I take them. I stuff them up on here, smash it up real good, give them something to build off of. I want them to build their cone straight up and down. I don't want it all weird and doing stuff I don't want. Fall, I'm going to try to move it up into the other box and get it out of here. So right now, I might reach up in there and I might switch this out. I'm going to get them into a different box. trying to do is move all the old stuff up and all the new stuff down. Baby, can you reach in here and pull that second frame all the way out? This one? Yeah. No, no, no. The next one in. The second one there. That one. Just lift it straight up now. There's nobody on it anyways. This is what I'm after right here. Take them out of there. That I've done, I've swapped out a frame of new for old. Here's another one, new, and I'm putting them in the same location that they are in the upper box. The best I can. getting pretty close to where the queen is now. They're really holding on and sticking together there. They like my legs. Mm. I 
those ones stuck together, or did you just pull them out together? No, I just pulled them out. Together. Oh, okay. I thought they were stuck together. They kind of popularized, but they're not. Oh, okay. Now that's all I'm doing. Is I'm rotating the old frames up. any brood on these lower frames that I've swapped out. So what I'm doing is putting all the old stuff to the top and the new stuff That way I know this box is going to be on top. It's going to be all old frames and I can swap them out, get them out of there, put new stuff in there for them. Are you looking for the squirt bottle? You spritz this frame for me? Yeah. That's good. I thought I had sprayed both sides of the frame, but I guess I didn't. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one right here. Nine frames. I'm gonna put this one up here. This one. I'll put it in here. Middle. Middle. Now, put the frames back up. Keep the unwanted critters out of there. I'll go ahead and put this back in here. I'm going to get into this one right here. This is. Now this one would be a good one to move up. Because all this got on it is nectar and pollen. You want all your nectar and pollen in the upper boxes, you don't want them in the lower boxes. Oops. I'll get it. stays Here's in the lower the box. Than that. 
There she goes. She's on the bottom of the box. Oh, is she? Do you want the phone? Nah, she's already she's already booking it across. Well, fine. She ran away. She won't love me anymore. They're oh, so cute. Here. I got some extra propolis here and there, and I'm going to put that back in place. It should be nine frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put number ten back in here. It's got a little bit of drawn cone on it. Small amount. Get this little bit of propolis here. Taking that propolis and I'm filling up these little gaps. Now if you can, make your own hive boxes or buy from a reputable dealer. This one was from Tractor this Supply. This is from Tractor Supply and it's warps it. It's already cracked right and here. It was cracked from the when I got it. Look at these big old knots and stuff, right? Where you got a nail and screw, so not what you would expect. Apparently my legs taste good. Yeah, this was salty. Yeah. You need to bring them out some water and salt. Salt water. Water is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For ten, I have an extra frame. Why don't I have an extra frame? Mm -hmm. I think it goes in this box. Okay. Now, here again, I got to smoke them off. Smoke them away. I'm going to set this other box on there. When I get ready, to, just before I get ready to set that on there, can you use uh, the front of this box real good? Yeah. So not on the bottom. Ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies. Apparently, one of these boxes will work real bad. I'm not sure which one it is. I have a pretty good idea, but I'm. Well, this is the one that has a huge hole in it, huh? Yeah. Get some problems after that one. Now, thing is, you don't want a bunch of openings in your boxes because the dang bees get in there. You get robbing going on. You get infestations of wax moths. Now this hive is full. I mean, it's got bees in all three boxes doing good. Now I'm going to check for the honey, see what kind of honey we got on here. I'm going to pull one of these. These frames fit real tight in this box. And I think that's because I didn't space them out right. I'm doing, I should have brought that fully drawn out honey yeah. frame over here, but I didn't do it. Girls get off there. Y'all, you're gonna squish bees from time to time. Not capped yet, but they're filling it out. Get that out. They're doing good work. kind of alarming to me is I'm all the way up here in the honey box. Okay. And I don't understand why this is going on. Check this out. There's babies up there. Baby bees up here. Is there some on the other side too? That means the queen came all up in here to lay eggs. Oh yeah. The whole side. The whole side's full of baby bees. Why are there bees in there? There should not be bees in there. There should only be honey. They're hatching out. Not good. queen might be all the way up in here. I might have two queens in this box. Mm. Or she was up in here and she went down. Yep. 
More babies. Look at that. Yep. There's only supposed to be honey in here, girls. Yeah, they're doing whatever they want. Exactly what they want. Hey, lady, how you doing? I'm gonna say I'm probably fixing to find a queen right here. Find a queen here, and I think I'm pretty sure that was a queen down there. And they got a double queen in the hive. Nope, this is all nectar and bees that are hatching. So this hive is fixing to explode with bees, which is a good thing. But these ladies need not to be. <laughs> I don't want them on here. Well, they're gonna. Now, this is the kind of frame you that if you're gonna move to another nuke, this is what you want to move to another nuke. When hatch out, make sure it's still recording. Yeah. All over, it's got a little bit of nectar in there. Oops, sorry, Mr. Drone. Now, it's not one that you'd want to use if you're trying to make a, you know, make its own queen cells because there were no baby bees in, you know, little tiny. I think they have to be like in the seven to nine days of development yeah that was the queen that was down there I'm pretty sure yeah that's a lot of baby bees and these are all new bees Not if that was the queen down there. Well, when they're done filling this up, though, it's going to be honey central. Get off my ear! There's a horse mine. It's strange, guys, how you all of a sudden you'll develop the sensibility to where you'll know if it's a bee or a fly horse fly or whatnot that lands on you. It doesn't take very long. This is what I'm looking for right here. This should be full honey. God bless America. Whoa. Okay, there we are, baby. It's all deformed. <laughs> I can't even shake it. Yeah. Um, smoker. Take this out of here. Look at that. It works like a dream. I love you, Mom. Love you too, baby. She's the spider's attacking that bee. Shall we help the bee? No. You'll accidentally sting yourself. If you guys choose to blow them off like that, make sure you don't suck a bee into your mouth. Ooh, that'd be horrible. Because you're going to get stung. It's not going to be very pleasant. There's still one on me. Yeah. 
can't get them can't all get off them sometimes. All. Baby. You know, this is my five-year-old son, Sean. He's unsuited. We're what, six feet away from the hive, buddy? Okay, we're messing with the bees, we're shaking bees off, we're robbing some of the honey out, we're switching the hive around, and he's right here. Nothing's bothering him. So you guys don't have to be in a panic or hurt, you know, as long as the child understands not to swat at the bees when they land on him and stuff, and allow the child to understand this and help them understand it, that if they swat at them, they're going to get themselves stung. The bees not wanting to sting you, are they, Sean? Mm -hmm. We usually get ourselves stung, huh, baby? Mm -hmm. So, what do you have to say to the other little boys and girls out there for the bees, buddy? To don't worry and don't swat at them. Yeah, just walk away from them. And if you see bees on your property around your home, bring it to mom and dad or grandma and grandpa's attention you've got bees on your property and tell them to call a beekeeper. Inform, ask them to call a beekeeper. Not necessarily tell them, but ask them to call a beekeeper. People like myself, most of the time I'll come out and remove them for free. And if there's honey to be had, I'll give them some jars of honey too. Or if they'd like to sponsor a hive, I'll, I'm going to start doing that in the next year. Allowing people to sponsor that. They want the honey but don't want to have the responsibility of dealing with the bees. Maybe they have the means to purchase uh, the bees but don't have the means to take care of them. I'm going to do something like that here in the near future with starting next spring. And this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to go ahead and have my wife stop this video at this time um it's probably what 11 ish probably it is july 22nd i'm gonna say it's probably 11 30. this is roy adair and pauline adair and sean adair signing out at the adair apries god bless be kind help somebody do what you can and do the lord's work every day that you have an opportunity to do so if you don't think you have an opportunity, do it anyways. Signing out.